The other wish, though. Right? Segway. The other wish is also unacceptable and fucking stupid. Oh, so you did hear about it? Oh, yes. It's All completely... Right. It's, no. Just no. <laughs> I don't approve of it in any way. It's fucking dumb. Yeah, I'm kind of upset about it, too. Not gonna right. lie. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure this one doesn't know either, which is perfect because we get the, we get to see the, the prime reaction. Okay. So Brandon, you know how Piccolo is, uh, you know how he's getting his, uh, his own ultimate form, right? I've heard kind of. That's the second wish. Really? They, he, they wished for him to be that strong. It's not natural. So it was, was it during or kind of before? Like, it's gonna happen at some point during the movie, but, like, to know that they had to wish for Piccolo to just be at that level, and it wasn't, like, anything that he himself naturally trained for, like, that's almost, like, that's, like, a stretch equivalent to, like, people that do steroids, and, like, <laughs> you know, they basically cheat the system. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, like, well, that's why I'm saying it's a stretch, it's a stretch comparison because even with steroids, you still have to like work out and stuff. Like it just. I was you gonna just, say you'd have to wish to be the steroid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But like, that really changes my perspective, and it changes my uh, like my overall thoughts going going forward for Piccolo's character because I know Piccolo's gonna still be the same you know guy that he is to everybody. But like, that's lame. Like this is almost, this is almost on the same level as the Bloods waves in GT for Vegeta going Super Saiyan 4. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am not one of those fans <clears throat> that is going to just simply accept somebody being handed something. Like, and honestly, there is no good reason. There is no reason. It's unacceptable. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? Because I can tell you as a kid, okay? And we're all adults now, right? But even as a kid watching GT and I saw this wife come out the corner and say, I made a whole machine for you, husband. Now you can match up with Goku and fight the battle so alongside him. So she can make a whole machine to emit the moon shit so that someone can the achieve the waves. next level of Super Saiyan, but she can't fix herself. Dragon Ball, bro. Dragon Ball. Welcome to Dragon oh, Ball. How right, can I help my, you? My bad. My bad. Sorry. Yeah. I forgot where we at. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> Hit you with the fucking... Actually. Right. <laughs> okay. It's, just, it's the same shit. Like, as a kid, bro, when I watch that my hype like died like i was like and you know that's f like if you get if you can t if you can manage to burst a kid's bubble when it's like you it's all excitement you know you look forward to the fights the power-ups the moves the all that shit and the next thing you know you give a kid a reason to literally just be like what you done fucked up point blank and when i saw vegeta just literally cheat his way to go Super Saiyan 4, I was just like, hmm. I mean, this is cool to see him in that form, but, you know, part of the other reason why a lot of people love Dragon Ball is because they are, we're all watching these, of course, select characters go through shit, train, fight, struggle, lose, come back from that shit way stronger like there's come-ups you know what i'm saying nah, and dude, then for fuck a come up just wish for it yo and that's <clears throat> that's whack that is yeah, so kind of whack bro and that's a shame because like i know there's piccolo heads out there that are so excited for to see this movie to see their characters shine but i wonder how they feel now knowing and if they don't know, sorry, now you know. But you're going to see this movie and you're going to see it for your own eyes. You're going to see the dude that trained up your favorite, Gohan. Train this dude from scratch. And then also train the other kids. My man is the trainer. He is that guy. 
He helped Goten and Trunks. He helped Gohan. He look he's about to help Pan. Like he's the generational fucking master for all these for all these kids. Like he gets their shit right. He puts them in track. And he's just gonna fucking wish for ultimate piccolo form or whatever the hell they're gonna call that shit. Dude. And he's still gonna get washed using it. And yo, and if and if and when that happens, dude, that's gonna suck. That's gonna, gonna suck. Show us that Shenron's power ain't shit for the Namekians. You know, the ones who made the Dragon Balls. You know, you would think that these Namekians, they would be a lot fucking stronger. But, right. he, you know. I mean, to this, I mean, to this moment, we can obviously say that Piccolo is definitely the strongest Namekian ever, I guess. Right? But he's going to be that and then it's still not going to be enough. Like, what is that? That's, that's, that is sad. And that's, a, that's unfortunate and that's upsetting. Because obviously I just want, I want the best. I want to see, I want to see the best of the best. And, you know, like, 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 take for example. This goes hand in hand with Vegeta. Funny enough, they're voiced by the same dude, at least in the English version, right? Look at Vegeta's struggle. Look at his come up. Look at all his come ups. The one time that, well, two times, right? GT we already talked about, but the other time power was like handed to him in some way was when he went Majin, right? Yeah. But then after that, what happened? This dude clawed, probably bled, probably sweat a whole fucking lot and literally found his own way to do the shit that Goku had a kumbaya session for vegeta did that on his own and then he surprised us and went blue that is fire that is the shit that when you see that for the first time and you realize wow he did that on his own that is what makes a moment memorable and special and you'll never forget to forget that shit that same example, when I took this one to see Resurre Resurrection F, and I, this was my second time seeing it, right, at this time. So I already knew. I was like, yo, this kid's going to freak out when he sees Vegeta go Super Saiyan Blue. I just know it. And I, I didn't say shit, right? So we're watching this movie, and then I, I'll never forget this. He's sitting next to me, of course, and he's like, yo, it would be sick if he goes Super Saiyan Blue. And I was like, oh, and then he starts powering up and this, yo, like, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was like, oh my God, he really, and it was hype. And there was no like, oh yeah, we, we hacked it. We cheated. We wished it. There was none of that shit. That is what makes those moments freaking special. This knowing that, that knowing that he's, they're wishing for this shit to happen for him. It's not special. All that, all that just went out the window. Now it's really just about Gohan, really. Because I know this movie is primarily for the two of them. But like, come on, let's face it. This is this is now a Gohan movie. This is all about, this is really just focused in on him finding that purpose to even get to that level again. And notice how I didn't say redeemed. Because he's not being fucking redeemed. I'll remind everybody again because you know there's still people in the comments that are still saying that shit and i keep fucking telling y'all it's not a redemption oh this is a redemption for him 100 <laughs> percent. it's not a redemption it's a resurgence he's what? he's finding his, his his it's a repurpose he's literally finding he has a reason now that's the these are the only re words you can use. Okay? We talk about this literally at least every episode at this point. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>